Hello everyone, in this straight game session, we're going to look at some problem solving for differential rates equation. Given the rates of combustion of heptane, C7, H16 in excess oxygen is 1.80 molar per second. So the questions over here gives you the rates of combustion for heptane which is right there so that is your heptane and the question also gives a complete balance equation so that we can write the differential rates equation before we want to calculate the rates of usage of oxygen and the rates of formation of carbon dioxide just by using the rates of combustion that is given to you right there and by constructing the correct differential rates equation we should be able to solve these two questions right here so let's try a first let's try to find what is the rates of usage of oxygen for this particular combustion like i mentioned the first thing you need to do is to write the differential rates equation Okay, so we're going to do this one first. So the first thing you need to do is to write the differential rates equation. So rates equals to, remember, all of this over here is your reactant. And all of those are your products. Therefore, you have negative D concentration of your heptane over DT okay equals to over here you have 11 mole of oxygen so you have 11 1 over 1 over 11 so negative 1 over 11 times the change in concentration of the oxygen gas over dt equals 2. Now we're going to move across to the product side. So we have plus sign 1 over 8 times the concentration uh, the change in the concentration of water over dt equals to another plus sign we put another plus sign over here because you have carbon dioxide as your product one over seven so we have change in the concentration of carbon dioxide over change in time so that is the differential rates equation by writing this correctly you have one mark now the first thing the question wants you to find is to find out the rates of usage of oxygen now the question gives the rates of combustion of the excess of heptane in excess oxygen is 1.80 molar per second. So that is the question gives. The rates for combustion of heptane is equal to 1.80 molar per second. Okay? And when you look at the relationship over here, now we're going to compare between your heptane and the one that we want to find out, which is 
the usage of oxygen. So we're going to compare that with this. So the next step is, so you're going to compare the, from the differential rates equation, you're going to compare the rates of heptane, combustion of heptanes, to the rates of usage of oxygen. We have D concentration C7H16 over DT. And you compare with 1 over 11 change in the concentration of the oxygen over DT. Note that I have ignored the negative sign over here because the negative and positive sign will only going to be used when you want to write the rates differential rates equation but when you want to solve problems regarding to differential rates equation and rates equation you can ignore the sign okay now this rate over here is given to you in the question so you're going to write it there. So you have 1.80 molar per second. Okay. And when you take this 11, you move to the other side. You'll have times 11 over here. And you should be able to find out the usage of the oxygen, okay? So when we write the full answer, therefore, the rates of you have that D equals to nineteen point eight molar per second. Okay, so that is the answer. So you will have one mark for this. And if you go back here, when you do this comparison over here, this whole thing, this whole thing over here will give you another one mark. Now, what about this question? So let's try and solve that one. So to solve this, we're going to be referring to the same differential rates equation. But this time, you're going to compare the rates of combustion of heptane, which is 1.8 smaller per second, with the formation of carbon dioxide. Okay, so when you do that, so I'm just going to open up that one over here. So we have done this just now, okay? And now we're gonna try to do this. Remember, this is still in the same question. So to solve B, it's very important for you to have the differential rates equation. Since you have written it down right there, so you don't have to rewrite that again. So when we try to solve that, so we're going to compare the rates of combustion for heptane with rates of formation of carbon dioxide. So we do know that this one is 1.8, okay? So the rate of combustion for heptane is given to you is 1.8. So 
I'm going to write it over here, 1.80. And when you move 7 to the other side, you'll have times 7. And this is... the rates of formation of carbon dioxide. So when you write the full answer, therefore, the rates of formation of carbon dioxide is you'll get about 12.6 molar per second. So you need to write the correct units and you need to write the statement right over here. Okay, this statement is very important to show that the rates over here is for formation of carbon dioxide. So by writing that, you will get one mark. And this whole thing over here will give you another one mark. Next, we're going to look at this example right here. We have the acid solution, Br minus ions, are oxidized by BrO3 minus to bromine. And the balance reaction, balance equation is given to you. And the question states further that it was found that at a particular instance, the bromine, which is this, the bromine right there, was being formed at the rate of 0 0.039 mole per decimeter cubic per second. And the question wants you to find three things. The rates of oxidation for Br minus ions, second the rates of formation of water and the third one the rates of consumption of h plus the most important thing that the question gives right now is the bromine has the formation rates of 0 0.039 mole per decimeter cubic per second so you can write that so the question gives very important piece of information. The rates of formation for the bromine that you have over here is equals to 0 0.039 molar per second. So this over there, you can write as molar as well. Okay. So from what the question gives, since the question does not give you the differential rates equation, we have to write it down. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to write the word rates. And remember, we have 5 mole of Br minus reactin, 1 mole of BrO3 minus reactin, and 6 mole of H plus reactin. So all of them will be having negative sign in front for the differential rates equation. So you have this, so you have negative one over five, the change of concentration in concentration of Br minus over change of time, followed by this. So this is negative for BrO3 minus negative the change in concentration of BrO3 minus over the change of time and you have negative 1 over 6 for the change in concentration of the H plus over time. So this is the for the reactant part as you can see right there okay and to complete that, you're going to write for the reactant, you have 3 mole of Br2 being produced. So you're going to have plus sign, remember, for differential rates equation. It's important for you to write the sign. 
So you have plus 1 over 3. The change in concentration over dt. And finally, you're going to write plus 1 over 3 change in concentration of water over dt. So this is the differential rates equation, remember? This is the differential rates equation. And it is written in this form. So by writing this, you should be able to get one mark. Okay? So now we're going to solve A, B, and C. Let's have a look at A first. So A wants you to find out the rates of Br minus ions being oxidized. So the question gives the rates of formation of bromine, which is 0, 0.0, okay, 0 0.039 molar per second. So this is what the question gives us now. So at this point, you need to compare the rates of bromine with the rates of Br minus. You go back to your differential rates equation. Now we need to compare this, okay, bromine, with that. 1 over 5, the change in concentration Br minus over dt. So this is exactly what I have done over here. So now you're going to compare the rates of formation of bromine, 1 over 3, don't forget that. And note that I have omitted the sign. You don't have to include the sign when you want to do the calculation. The sign, negative and positive, they are only for the differential rates equation expression. Okay, so now we're going to compare with, this is what the question gives, and this is what the question wants. You compare two of them, then you get something like this, okay? So 1 over 3 is, is 1 over 3 right over there. And that rates of formation of bromine, you can substitute with what the question gives. So you have substituted in there. And 1 over 5, that number 5 on the side for bromine minus, you can switch that over to the other side, then you have multiplied by 5 right there, and you should be able to get the rates of oxidation for bromine minus. So when you solve that, you get, therefore, the rates of Br minus ions being oxidized will be equal to 0 0.065 molar per second. Okay, so by writing that, this whole thing over here will give you one mark and this one mark. Don't forget your units and don't forget to write the statement on top. What about B? Again, the question gives you the rates of formation of bromine. And we have to compare with what the question wants. The question wants you to write, to find out what is the rates of formation for water. So I am going to be comparing the rates of formation of bromine, what the question gives, and compare with what the question wants. In this case, the rates of formation of water. And this is based on the differential rates equation that you have written down right here. Okay, so you have it there. So that is the relationship between the bromine and water. So, so when you substitute that, 1 over 3 remains right there. And I'm going to substitute this, D concentration Br2 over dt, with what the question gives, 0 0.039. You put it there. And 1 over 3, you multiply by 3, and multiply by 3 on both sides. You have something like this, and therefore, you should be able to find out the rates of water being formed, which is 
0.039 molar per second. Again, by having this, you get one mark. By writing this, you get another one mark. Don't forget to write the statement on top. The last one is to find the rates of consumption for H+. Again, the question gives the rates of formation for bromine, and we're going to compare with what the question wants. The question wants you to find the rates of H plus ions being consumed. So you compare with what the question gives, which is the rates of formation of bromine, with what the question wants. And this is, again, you're going to get it from the differential rates equation. So when you substitute the rates of formation of bromine 0 0.039 into there, so this is being substituted there, and you multiply by 6 on both sides, or you move that to the other side, like what, what I have done right there, we will be able to find out the rates of consumption, consumption for H+. Therefore, you have to write this statement. You have to write this statement right here. It's very important. The rates of H plus ions are being consumed would be 0 0.078 molar per second. So this, you get one mark, and that, you get another one mark.